Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to check and see if this thing is more rare than a 2018 Dodge Demon. Stay tuned. So here's a look at the numbers. Once again, this is on Mopar Insiders. I'll leave the link below. But here's a look at the 1320 breakdown, uh, how many were made in what color and where they ended up. So you can see there was more black ones than any of them made, uh, white knuckle, and then destroyer, and so on. And if we go down here, billet, there was one. Yellow jacket, there was one. Maximum steel, 13. I mean, even triple nickel and granite crystal. This is just, this is crazy to, to think. Uh, growing up, we used to go to car shows and they would say, yeah, this was, you know, one of 50. And it was this huge deal. So if you have an indigo blue one, you have one of 50. And that is a really big deal uh, later on in the car's life. Uh, I don't know if it's going to necessarily raise values, but it's definitely going to make it rare. As you can see by those numbers, these things are pretty darn rare. Um, they're more rare than the Dodge Demon was in 2018, if you can believe it or not. Uh, 2020, they've not even put it on the Dodge website for you to build one yet. So it'll be interesting to see if they keep the package alive, which I'm hoping, or if they get rid of it. But there were 3,300 Demons produced in 2018, 3,000 in the U.S. and 300 in Canada. There were 1,054. 2019 1320 Dodge Challengers. Uh, there was a uh, thousand twenty six that made it to the U.S. and twenty eight that stayed in Canada. Um, this information all comes from Mopar Insiders. They do a great job and have some really good people who uh, do the research to make sure when they put stuff out that it is uh, exactly what you're getting. That it's fact. So um, it was really interesting when I saw the numbers from that. I'll leave a link to Mopar Insiders below. So you can check them out. They have a lot of great information if you've not seen their channel. But um, I was really impressed at how rare this thing is. Mine is uh, Destroyer Gray, and there were 109 built, 108 in the U.S., and one in Canada. So I was pretty impressed to find out this is one of 108. Yes, just for 2019, but you know I hear they're coming out with the package for 2020. I've not seen it yet. I'm hoping they do because I really want people to uh, get a chance to drive a 1320. These are uh, a completely different animal than scat packs. Um, yeah, they share a lot of the same stuff, motor and what have you, but as uh, we've all seen on the track, there's, there's definitely a big difference, stock versus stock. Um, I'm looking forward to heading back out to the track on January 24th. Uh, so if you get a chance, stop out there and see me. I'm going to be heading out to the shutdown showdown where they back half the track and do flashlight races. Uh, I'll not be racing on that night, but I will on the 24th. I'm uh, going to have some more videos coming up as we head into the new year. I appreciate you guys uh, taking the time out of your day to watch this, and I look forward to awesome things to come. But it has not yet. Damn it. Hey, thanks for joining me. Today I wanted to go over how rare the Dodge Challenger 1320 is. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to go over how rare the Destroyer 1320 is. And all 1320s are just as freaking. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and the little bell if you like these videos. I also have a Teespring tour up. Dippy dippy with the piggy a Teespring store with some funny shirts and stuff on there that you'll want to go check out. Thanks for watching.